Welcome to the Dan K. Yeah, yeah, it's time to rampage. Rampage, change the landscape. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Oh snap, we ready to attack. To a time for some action, and we're cutting no slack. Now. Swing for the fences, no time to hold back. Hold back. Stay alert, that's how you win it. Marble snap. Yeah. Breaking out the frame, looking for an upgrade. Great. Gaining cubes for the win, that's, that's how we do that's things. How we do. Marble snap, ready to attack. Yeah. Spitting venom like venom, dressed in all black. Ho, ho, smash. Her Iron Man, you can take, take your pick. pick. America Chavez with a super kick. kick. Yeah. So what you gonna risk? Yeah. You're in the quantum realm. Yeah. And limbo with limbo, limbo. that's where the greatest players dwell. Yeah. Oh, snap. Yeah. Be ready to attack. To a time for some action, now yeah. we're cutting no slack. No swing for the fences, no time to hold back. Nah, stay alert, that's how you win at Marvel Snap. That's how you win. Oh, snap. Be ready to attack. Yeah, time for some action, and we're cutting no slack. No swing for the fences, no time to hold back. Hold back. Stay alert, that's how you win at Marvel Snap. Oh, snap. All right, all right, all right. We are snap. here, guys. You guys are live as well. Again, appreciate you guys joining us for the very first episode of Marvel Scrap. Give me a lot coming in. We got the whales in the house. So chat, let them know how you how you like it as we're going through, and I'll explain it in just a second. But before we get into the rules and all that, let's go around the room. Let's introduce ourselves. I'm gonna start with you, Super Tech God. So you're right there on the left. How you doing, man? Tell these guys a little Great. bit about yourself. Yes, I'm the Super Tech God, as you guys can see there. I'm also known as Ken. Um, I stream almost every night on Twitch. Um, I'm considered a whale because I have every variant. So thank you guys. How you doing? Doing good. Doing good, man. You got way more variants than I do. Uh, and again, just love love seeing you guys' shops. So next up, we got 617. How you doing, man? Great, Dan. Nice, nice to be here. So um, I'm six. I'm from Boston, Mass., you know, I got all the variants. That's why I'm here. <laughs> Fun game. Glad to be a part of this. Awesome. Awesome. Short and sweet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we got Myth up next. Originally, we had Kraken Null that was going to be here. Something something happened on his side. He wasn't able to make it tonight. Uh, so, again, we'll get him back in a future episode. But we got Myth stepping in, coming in here with the whales. How are you doing, man? Good. Yeah, thank you for having me. I'm honored to be here. Uh, I am not as big of a whale as the other two here, but I think my splits can hold their own, man. I, I might not have all the variants, but I got almost all the gold splits you can have. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you got you got like a, an 18,000 18, collector score, something like that. So yeah. you're, you're up yeah. there with these boys. I am me. Wow, really? Oh, wow. I didn't know That's that. Awesome. Yeah. What's yours? Uh, 16.5, 16.6. Oh, wow. Like I'm, yeah. I'm 21 and change. Woo. Yeah. You have yeah. a lot of splits too. I'm lacking yeah, in the split yeah. category. <laughs> I know. I've only got I've only got a couple. I think I have like four or five inks and maybe two or three golds, something like that. So my collection needs a lot more than that. Yeah. All right. So we are here with Marvel Scrap. And like I said, the way this is gonna work is we've got four rounds that are gonna be going on. Uh in those four rounds, we have each topic that's gonna come down. You guys are gonna see that. And these guys have brought their answers. So they have an answer to this topic and they're going to make their arguments. So they got 90 seconds to make their argument. And then after those 90 seconds, all three of these guys go, they're going to have an additional 60 seconds just to tear down the other arguments. They got to tell them why theirs is the best, but it doesn't matter what I think. It doesn't matter what these guys think. It matters what you guys think. So over there in the chat, once we get done with that, we're going to be putting up a poll. And during that time of the poll, you're going to have uh two or three minutes i'll look at the poll settings and you guys are going to let us know who is the winner each round and as these guys get the the wins at the very end whoever has the most wins out of these four categories is going to be the winner uh now if we get a if we get a tie and occasionally it happens we will go to a tiebreaker which will be more on the fly these guys have no idea what it is and we'll grab a question from chat and that will be the tiebreaker uh so right. it'll be some random some random question about snap uh between the two people that are tied and then again same thing chat will let us know uh as we as we go through so i'm super excited like i said about this can't wait to get this started 
So let's start with our round one. So round one. Round one, we've got the topic that is what is the best variant category in Snap? So we're not talking about specific cards. We're talking about variants in general. And uh, I'm going to start with you, Super Tech God. This time around, we'll just go left to right. And then next time, we'll okay. shake it up a little bit. So what are you bringing right. us, Super Tech God, on your side? Well, the best artist for the variants I will go with is Kim Jacinta. Now, you guys seen the Apocalypse, the Colleen Wing, the Null. That's the best Null that's out there. The Ultimate Nimrod, of course. Um, the Silver Surfer variant. And, of course, my favorite, the Shang-Chi variant. Now, let's not sleep on the Venom and the Spectrum, but especially the Onslaught. I don't think any other artist is seeing Kim. Nice, nice. You got you got 60 seconds, man. You got anything to add there? You good? Man, I mean, that's a, that's a good pick, but I don't know if it's a great pick. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. I when I come. It's decent. Okay, let's, let's see what you guys got. It's not the one I thought. <laughs> I, I thought you were going with someone else. I know. All right. Oh, so, you know. Oh, okay. So with that, let's jump over to 617. What are you bringing? What is the best variant category? Uh, you know, I, I have to go with baby. I just think they're adorable. They're cute. And it, it, everybody has to like them. I mean, you look at them and they just, they just touch your heart. <laughs> so cool. That's it. That's it. All right. <laughs> <The babe>. Okay. <laughs> That's it. They're cute. I no, go, no worries. All right. So we'll have to figure out the timer situation because it's probably going to ding us in a minute. Um, but that's okay. We're, we're going we're gonna to get there. Maybe, maybe next episode we'll do 60 seconds. So we've got uh, Jim. Jen, how do you say that? Super Tech God? I'm, Kim, Kim Jacinto. Yeah, Kim Jacinto. We got Baby. And Myth, what do you think is the best variant category? All right, I'm coming. In, I'm coming in with a, a little left hook here. I don't know if this will be expected from anyone, but I'm coming in with Jim Lee, who is bigger in DC for now or right now, but has some crazy art with Marvel. So I see pulled up on the screen. There's the Colossus, the Angel, and it looks like looks like what's that one? Cyclops. Cyclops. I think is in the, the back. Cyclops there. But if if you're looking up on Snap Fan or whatever site you want to look at. Check out the Mystique, the White Queen, the Bishop, which is in game right now and is by far the best Bishop in the entire game. But the effects on the outer borders of the Jim Jim Lee variants are crazy. By far the best effects in Snap. All right, all right. So Lethal's out there saying you guys you guys have to convince him. He needs an argument to understand why one of these is better than the other. So we're gonna throw it back over. The super tech god all right you got you got your your 30 seconds 60 seconds what do you got man <laughs> why is yours better all right so the reason why gyms is better than both of these categories are if you look at animation for each yep. one of jim's cards it is 10 times better than any baby animation and any jim lee animation now yes i give you some props bishop that bishop is phenomenal but that's the only card Jim has, because even Archangel is worthless. It looks great, but it does nothing in the game. If you look at Jim's cards, the Shang-Chi's, the Sentry, the Venom, the Nimrod, the Colleen Wing, the Carnage, the Electro, the Human Torch, the Null, just the Null alone, that animation blows any of these cards, animations out the water. All right, 617, what do you got? Baby, Baby's oh, the way, man. right? Tell us why. Tell us why. Baby's the way. I mean, that, that baby Groot swinging on his swing, that's cute. The Shuri looking up <laughs> at the sky with the bats all around. I mean, plus there's so many babies. I think there's, there's 40 or 50 babies in the game. There's maybe there's under 20 Kim Jacintos, and there's not many Jim Lees. I personally don't like Jim Lees. Not going to lie. <laughs> Oof. Kim Jacinto's I do like, but <laughs> babies, man, you see them in the shop. You're just like, oh, it's so adorable. I need to have it. That's it. They're good. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. They, they do feel a little less less hurtful when when the baby Galactus comes down or the baby 
um, you know, uh, can't think of the other one, but um, Shang Chi or whatever, right? When he when he kills you, you're like, oh, okay, the, ba the baby got it. Yeah, yeah, you know, <laughs> throwing All that right. diapers at you and shit. <laughs> All right, Myth, what do you got, man? Jim Lee, why is Jim Lee the, the best one out of these three, man? All right, well, I'll explain that in one second. But first off, if I ever pull a baby <laughs> variant, I'm bummed out. I'm bummed out, man. It's it's almost like pulling a pixel to me. They're what? great in their own way. Wow. They're great in their own way, but Canceled. they're not the best. They're not the best. I'm never spending gold on a baby variant, period. <gasps> and here's here's the second thing. Well, maybe maybe one or two. Maybe one or two. But there's so many. And, and uh, you know. But here's the thing. The Jacento variants are very cool, but they're played Close. out. You see somebody oh, yeah. play a Noel. I'm not star eyeing that anymore, man. I've seen it five million times in Snap. But if I see somebody pull out the Jim Lee Angel gold background like I have with a Kirby, I am spamming the star eye. It's it's more rare. It's it's different, and I think that just makes it makes it the best in this category. It's oh. rare because they're ugly. Nobody has them. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's playing that Art Angel Jim Lee. Nobody. <laughs> all about the rarity and, all about the rarity right and to give props to the baby when i play baby nebula every game somebody hard side so i mean that's because it's new nebula that's because it's new get some love but when it comes to the the nimrod the no the venom the shang chi oh my goodness the gold back shang chi that is my favorite shang chi no exactly yeah. come on come on yeah there it's you go. my favorite too this is what i see see jim wins oh no oh come no on. You may be swaying, you may be swaying chat, but I don't know. <laughs> this it. is the only category I'm going to win. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chat, we're going to send it over to you guys. The poll is going to go up. So here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? You are going based on the arguments, based on what these guys have said. You may have a favorite card, but that's fine. You want to go off of what these guys have said. Which one of these categories is the one you want to vote for? That poll is going up now. And we want to see those votes for you guys. So above you, you're going to see the votes coming in as they come through on each of the different sides. There's two minutes, guys. Two minutes to get those votes. And right now, we got Super Tech got out to lead with two, but 617 already has a vote as well. So make sure you guys can are we, voting. Uh, can we vote for ourselves? Up. I mean, you can. You can. <laughs> <laughs> you are welcome to vote. You're welcome to vote for whoever you think it is, especially when you get to like round four, right? You may want to vote for the person in the, without a win yet, making <laughs> sure, making sure you, you just solidify your stuff. <laughs> Pulse out there saying, should he vote for STG just because he's right or be because he's the best one or the other? <laughs> I love it. Either one is fine with me. <laughs> well, let, let me log into my other Twitch account. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty close though. We got seven so far. We got four on six one seven. Myth. Yeah, that's a good question. There's not a lot of Jim Lees out there. Where they just is... haven't seen. They're unreleased. They haven't seen. The you movie. know what? Where is like logical said? Where is the Jim Lee and Baby Ultimate variants? If they're so great, where are they? They're just not. There I mean, yet. maybe the Ultimates are only great for us. You know, I, I like. I like. I'm a man of the people. You know, okay. Five thousand yeah. tokens. Ooh, I like. Oh, I like my variants in the shop for everyone. We are we are almost at well about about a, a third of the way through, two thirds of the way through on the vote. So make sure you vote if you guys haven't voted. Put your vote in. Every vote will count. I'm curious from you guys. So you mentioned it right there, Super Tech Guy, with the 1,200 you know variants out there, and it does seem like Kim has the most of these uh and there's a couple others as well that, that have a lot um of that compared to others uh where, why do you think why do you think they do that or how do you think uh you know that the sd guys determine who's going to be the ultimate rare i think based on the art i think the art and animation is what is what makes the ultimate variant the better um if you look at all the ultimate variants it's not too much in the art but it's the animation right you yep. look at the thor you look at the nimrod um you look at the um ghost rider the ghost rider right the gamora right you look at the cable so and even the arrow and everything else i think it's more so that because of that doo -doo. you like that cable <laughs> i agree oh, no i didn't get it i didn't get it yeah uh, but you look at the animations that's what makes them the ultimate yep. and sorry jim 
Jim's variance is just <laughs> animations is top tier. So so going Jim after Lee. that round real quick, we've got oh, we've got so Ken, we got Super Tech God taking it down with fifty per fifty six percent of the vote, grabbing the first point of the night. Um yeah, I'm you know, it's just it's one of those things like I, I'm a Dan Hip fan, guys. So like this was my category. Dan Hip would be what I'm what I'm all about. I mean his name's Dan. You can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with that. Um I, I thought yeah. you were picking Archerm, Ken, not gonna lie. Yeah, Archerm was my my second choice. I definitely like Archerm a lot. It's a yeah. good pick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It is cool, like some of these variants are just straight up like comic book covers. Like I, I think that's that's yeah. also kind of cool when you're when you're looking at I'm a comic book fan. I got tons of long boxes in the closet and it's cool when you see one, you're like, oh, wait, I've got that book. It's over there. Um, so it's, it's cool how they, they grab all the different things there. Agreed. All right. All right. So Ken taking down round one of the best variant there. We go ahead and clear this round. And that's going to that's gonna take us. Uh, actually, I got to clear the answers. You know, still still learning the board, still learning the board. But uh, that's going to take us from round one over into round two. And round two, we're going to have a little bit different of a question It's going to be a shit show. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, we're looking at the best villain card. So again, I talked to these guys, and this can be just straight up a villain card in Snap. Maybe you want to actually explain why the villain is so good and, and how he works with this card. Whatever you want to do, it's all fair game, but it's going to be the best villain card. And this round, I'm going to start with you, Myth. What are you bringing for the best villain card? I took a tough L on that first round, but I want to come strong with the second round here. And I chose Hela to be the best villain card Ooh. in Marvel Snap and possibly the best villain in Marvel, in my opinion. Now, there's definitely a lot of crazy, awesome, strong villains in Marvel. But the reason I chose Hela was primarily based on Marvel Snap. And it's based on how card cards are built and the effects for the cards are determined. And I think that Hela just has like a perfect effect for, for being the goddess of death. I mean, the discard archetype in Marvel Snap is very cool. There's a few discard villains. But I think Hela just stands above the top. If somebody pops off with Hela in Marvel Snap, you're losing. Like, you don't win that. And I think bringing that power, bringing back the dead, bringing back the discarded is just a crazy, crazy mechanic in Marvel Snap. And I mean, even if we bring it back to the MCU, um, you know, Hela caught and destroyed Mjolnir in one hand with no effort. I mean, it just goes to show her power. News to me. Um, in the comics, <laughs> Hela's here regenerating when she's stabbed, summoning weapons when she wants to attack, creating armor. And in one of the comics, I don't remember which one, Doctor Strange came at her, creating a portal, and she just swooshed it away. So just so it goes to show her, her raw power. All right. All right. Time is up in that one. Ran all the way to the buzzer. See, that's where you need your 90 seconds. Let's throw it over to 617. What is the villain, the best villain card that you got coming in here? Kneel before Galactus. Has to be. Come on. The man destroys worlds. And everybody hates him. But he's so good at being bad. That's Absolutely. it. Yeah, I mean, just... what, what else can you say? <laughs> He is the card that everybody is always yelling for the nerfs for and all of that good stuff. Yeah, it just destroys everything. You play, you get everything set up so good, and then that bastard comes down and ruins everything. <laughs> we got some arguments out in the chat saying he's not quite a villain. Uh, I mean, I'm on, I'm on your page. I think he's a villain too. All right. It's worlds, destroys worlds, does something. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Super Tech God, what do you got for us, man? Who are you bringing? I think you guys went the easy route. I mean, the villain I chose is Mr. N. Sabah Noor, best known as Apocalypse. Apocalypse is one of the biggest bads, especially in the X-Men universe. He was the one that was trying to, you know, make people better in the world and destroy all the weak. 
I mean, he had the best lines, especially in the animated series, right? Like, I will weed out the weak and the inferior so that only the strong survive. Who says that? Apocalypse. <laughs> okay? Peace does nothing to test, to increase mutant strength, to force them to evolve into the strong. Come on, my man has the best liners, the <laughs> best villain. He was going, he was destroying everybody. Nobody could stop Apocalypse. I give Apocalypse as the best villain in both Marvel Slam, especially right now with Discard and Dracula and everything else. And of course, in the animated series and in the comics, Apocalypse is my pick. All right. All right. So let's, uh, let's... leave in a world that gets destroyed by Galactus. <laughs> <laughs> Then what good is he? <laughs> throw it back over to Myth. Myth, why is Hella still the better choice than either of these other two? You know, Galactus, a big bad in Marvel Snap, clearly a great choice, but it it, it just it just doesn't feel good. When I when I play Galactus in Marvel Snap, the reason I didn't want to choose Galactus is why well, I, I just don't enjoy it. But you know, it sucks. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But but. The reason that Hela is better than Apocalypse, I'll tell you why. For Apocalypse, I when I first thought of the effect and I was choosing this, whoever discards Apocalypse is, is almost like the bringer of destruction, right? Like you're destroying Apocalypse and making him stronger. But with Hela, she doesn't need people to make her stronger. She's she when death happens, she becomes more powerful, right? She doesn't need people to assist her in Marvel Snap. She's you know, when chaos is happening in the battlefield, she'll just bring him right back up and kill everyone. So, so for me, Hella, Hella just has to be the best discard villain in Snap. All right. So six one seven. Why is Galactus better than Hella and Hela. Apocalypse? There, because he just destroys them wherever they are. He just eats them. Eats the world and everything about him. <laughs> I mean, that's it. Yeah. All right, Super Tech God, Apocalypse. Why is he better than the other two? Because he's Apocalypse, right? I mean, he is, <laughs> for so long, he's been on the Earth just absorbing energy and knowledge and has the right to come out and do as he does. And, of course, he cannot be destroyed easily. You know, Galactus, we could stop Galactus. You know, we could put a Spider-Man in his lane. We could pull a rock. <laughs> a rock stops Galactus. He's done. All right, Hella, <laughs> we just put a little puppy there. Cosmo, we stop him right there. What's Hella doing? Nothing. She's hiding behind Invisible Woman, doing nothing. So we're not worried about those two. Apocalypse, yeah, he sits she's in your wimp. hand, and he just continues to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. And then he comes out of nowhere. Apocalypse, all powerful, 24. You know, most power on the board. Or he let Dracula just absorb him, and there he is. He's still there. He doesn't go anywhere. So, Apoc definitely better than Galactus and Hella. If he's in the game, if the, if he's in the lane, um, Galactus is in. You know, he might stand. <laughs> One widow's bite and it's over, man. One widow's bite and it's over. <laughs> All right. Maximus. All right. So we're gonna take it to the chat, to the vote, guys. You guys have heard the arguments. We got Apocalypse, Galactus, and Hella. You heard the arguments. Let's see what you guys think is the best villain card based on those arguments. Poll is up. You got two minutes. Make sure you're doing your votes, guys. And we'll see. I mean, you know, when it comes to this game, there's a, there's so many good villains in here, right? And it's funny because you guys pick some of the the biggest villains, some of the the big closers, right? You all have six drops, but like, what do you guys like as far as villains in the game that are not six drops? So just, I'm not saying they're the best. I'm just saying villains you like. So you've got, you know, things like what, Juggernaut, Venom, Carnage, right? A lot of cards out there. Killmonger. I like Killmonger. Yeah. He's a three drop. He's a great villain. Um, he destroys all the one cost cards. Yeah. So I like Killmonger. Yeah. How about y'all guys? I like Venom. I like how he infects everybody. Mm -hmm. Gets right in him. Yeah. Yeah. Takes Similar him over. to Venom. It's pretty yeah. cool. I'm a, car I'm a big Carnage fan. I think I have like 5,000 boosters for Carnage and Marvel Snap. Wow. I've split it maybe like eight times. It's such a great card. It was going to be my pick, but I felt like I had to come with a little left hook again. It seems like maybe it's not the not the optimal way to win this game, but it's fun for me. So so we're going to keep doing it. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's definitely honestly couldn't name more than two or three villains. So that's just <laughs> one of them. 
Well, no I figured, Thanos. I figured that would be what it was. Like, like you're on there, Super Tech God. Like, uh, I, I would have thought Thanos would have been one of the choices yeah. here. Right. You know, big bads and all. Yeah. I've hit. Yeah, I, I've thought, hit I thought one of you guys was gonna pick Thanos for sure. Mm, Thanos was gonna be my pick. I've hit Infinite. I think three seasons with Thanos. My favorite deck to play in Marvel Snap, but I just figured, you know, I thought I thought one of you would pick Thanos. <laughs> I didn't even try. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was too easy. I don't like the easy route. Yeah. Had to go with yeah. APOC. Apocalypse is, is an interesting answer. He's definitely one of those yeah. where he works well in the decks that he's built for, right? And, it, right. and you can say that to a lot of cards, but like, uh, he's, he definitely is a big, a big card you see in like series two. And then I feel like once you hit series three, kind of disappears for a while until you start to get to like the Modoc, the hell, you know, the, those kind of decks. So. I'm surprised Galactus got, got only second place. Galactus is a, that is an annoying card, man. It's a villain, <laughs> villain to me. And it looks like Super Tech God is taking down yet another round here. Rigged. So we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> two points so far, which means now... How much you pay you guys, Chad? <laughs> he's like, he's like, I'm going to give you free subs, all kind of stuff. Just vote for me. That. I should have done that. <laughs> So we got two, the reason I drink. <laughs> two more rounds, which means one of you guys, what do you guys is definitely gonna have to win this next one as we go in there. We're still gonna do all four rounds no matter what, because they are just a ton of fun. Uh, but it is it is a lot of fun. So chat saying they just could never vote for Galactus. They're they're not giving anything Galactus their vote just because he's so annoying he's to them. <laughs> Yeah. We gotta team up here, man. He's too strong. Super tech guy. I it's know like it. apocalypse. Yeah. Coming in there with that with that super whale. That's super whale. All right, so round three. Round three, we're going into an interesting one. So this one is a category that we like to look at around what cards need to come to Marvel Snap. So again, we tried to stay away from what we know is coming. You guys know later this month, we got a lot of cards coming. Plus next month, we got the Spider-Verse stuff coming. But kind of trying to stay away from all of those data mine type cards. And uh, we're gonna see what these guys brought. So I'm gonna start with you, six one seven. What did you bring for us? Wendigo is who I brought. You get yeah. the picture up. Yeah, pictures yeah, up, buddy. So <laughs> this crazy thing is like ten feet tall. Oh. It's white, completely furry white in the Canadian wilderness, transforms into a humanoid beast with fangs and razor sharp claws. And he just goes ham on everybody, man. I like him. I think he'd be good in the game. Be a good uh, destroy card. I don't know what the effect would be, but I'm sure we could figure out something. Nice, nice. Any any thoughts? Any thoughts on what you, what you think he should be doing? Uh, no, nah, I'd have to think about it a little bit. <laughs> What's his know. power? What's his power and his cost? Power and his cost. It's got to be. I don't know, buddy. I got. I got to think about that. Well, you guys give right. me your answers. I'll. I'll think about that a little bit. Could be going to be a big four ten something like that, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Right. All right. <laughs> let's see. All right. Let me. Let me go find this timer. All right. All right. Let's go over to. Let's. Let's go to Super Tech God. I got to give Myth a little bit of. A little bit of listening in while he's doing his because we got to give somebody an advantage since you've already got two answers, man. What do you got, Super okay. Tech God? What are you bringing for us? So, Prowler, Aaron Davis. Prowler is the uncle of Miles Morales. I don't see him in any leaks. Not sure if he's coming to the game, but he should be. Um, the Prowler, basically, he has powers of he's a skill thief. That's the biggest thing, right? He's also an engineer, a hacker, has a power suit. Um, and superhuman abilities. So we go back to the skill thief. I think he should be a 3-2, right? And his ability should be he removes, or let's say he takes the ability of the last card your opponent play. So he will be the card that could stop the Cosmos, the Negasonics, the Jeff's abilities, and all those other cards that are not on the Dracula, Right, cards that are that are just have text, he will go and take their ability. Now he's not taking it and it making him have that ability, but he just takes it from them. All right. 
right all right so let's see let's see what myth has is myth gonna take this down is 617 gonna take this down let's see what that one is all right the guy well, i came sure in that. big here i came in with dormammu <laughs> oh good one dormammu. dormammu i put him at a five cost six power might be a little busted but you know we'll start high and i thought the the great ability would be to have an on reveal create a portal at this location which randomly moves cards played by opponent so it's creating an interdimensional portal as he's an interdimensional being the opponent plays a card in that lane it'll just move it over to any open lane might not be too busted since it might benefit move decks and dormammu's biggest enemy is dr strange you pop door, uh dr strange in a dormammu lane brings over any move card that that gets boosted it's not gonna be great for Dorm dormammu it's gonna buff the move decks which i think need to happen and i think it'll be a super cool super cool build in marvel snap all right back over to you 617 what do you got wendingo why is wendingo still the better choice out of these three so i'm, th I'm thinking with him because um so if any human eats the flesh of another human being in the canadian wilderness that's how they get turned into a wendigo and so i believe because of that he could say infect another card and make him like a three three a three four i don't know something like that and um he can in infect a card like bite it and, and inflict like a wound he can bleed and maybe lose one power each turn till the end of the game i think that'd be cool that's cool inverted in um sunspot i like that yeah a little bleed effect yeah nice all right super tech so you you've heard now we we've got some we've got some abilities around the way yeah. to go so uh yeah. so how's your prowler and how is prowler better than these other two well prowler is stopping both of them right removing their abilities once they they are played right and he plays after them um so yeah windigo probably take care of that dormammu great idea I'm not gonna say it's a bad idea it's a great idea <laughs> but again the prowler takes care of that real quick and i mean move decks are great but dormammu yeah great villain i think he should have been the villain you should have picked him as a villain <laughs> i don't know this 10 foot sasquatch <laughs> <laughs> gonna gonna punt, punt that prowler across the game board, buddy. All right, no prowler. <laughs> over, over to Myth. What she got for is Myth. Why is Dormammu better than these other two? Man, I think it's just a, a sick card idea. Like, I, I just think having even even just the effect of the portal spinning there, or just uh, maybe not the Doctor Strange portal, but but a cool interdimensional purple uh, portal. It would number one look cool number two would add a new dynamic to the game uh you know the the prowler pick is also a cool pick but i don't think we need another leech in marvel snap i think that it wouldn't be wouldn't be uh you know too fair and also my iron patriot list that i'm running from from km best that deck would love that when i play when i play my misty knight and that prowler removes the effect no big deal no big deal dormammu would change the meta <laughs> Prowler would just it would just do nothing. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna take it to the chat. We're gonna see what they think. So, chat, let us know on the poll who should come to snap based on what you heard. Should it be the Prowler, Wendigo, or Dormammu? Poll is up. You got two minutes. Let's see what they think about that. It's so crazy. I want I want to vote for Dormammu. I do. <laughs> I might. You might get my vote. I appreciate that. So, so I'm curious, curious with this, right? I'm not going to get into the Spider-Man stuff because that's that's too far in, in the future. But this month, right? We got Howard the Duck dropping in just a little bit. We've got um, High Evolutionary, and we got Living Tribunal. So, out of those three cards, what do you guys think is the best of those three cards if you were getting them? So, again, we're taking Iron Lad out of the picture. We already know that he's a really good card, but these next three, what's the card that that you like the most? High evolutionary for sure mm -hmm. just offers yeah. so much versatility like you, you yeah. can do so many different things with it so it's awesome 
Yeah. You don't need to play every single one of those cards with no abilities. You can pick and choose. You can throw them into all kinds of different archetypes. It's, it's insane. Yeah. I, I do like High Evo, but Living Tribunal, it's going to be fun. He's like the Nexus card. So I yeah. think just getting your cards nice and strong and buffed and dropping him on turn six, I think it's going to be fun too. I think he's going to be the... I think everybody will love Galactus because of how crazy Living Tribunal is about to get. So everybody's going to be like, you know what? Leave Galactus alone because Living Tribunal is taking over. So I can't wait for Living Tribunal to come out just so people can back off from Galactus. No. <laughs> Man, well, it's, I'm gonna it's... pick Howard the Duck. I'm just kidding. High Evo. I think High Evo and some <laughs> Thanos builds would go crazy. I, I think it's just gonna be a ton of fun. Big brain strategies. I think I, I I hope and I plan to hit infinite next season with a High Evo Thanos deck. Nice, nice. That'd be awesome. Yeah, I think. Uh, and, and by the way, as of now, I mean chat. You just they're all in on I myth at it. this point. Uh, myth yeah. taking it down. Twelve sweet, votes. One hundred percent taking it uh so you got my vote so you're those i appreciate honey. that thank you i voted for you too <laughs> wow you <laughs> look at that let's get that score up there for myth but yeah i i do think that uh howard the duck actually is is pretty good i'm not saying he's the best out of three but uh i i i'm ready to see him kind of actually show out especially in the tournament scene with battle mode so again being able to see one turn ahead because i know there's so many games where i'm like man should I play this? I may draw that, but knowing what you're going to draw, especially on a turn five, knowing what turn six is going to look like is, is pretty huge. Um, again, it means you have to have him. He has to be down on the field and all of that, but uh, he could be he could be an interesting card as he comes out. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of on the high Evo train too, just just because it it he does have so many cards he can interact with, which is kind of what the, the big bads do, right? You have Galactus, you have Thanos, right? They change the game in a different way, and I think High Evo kind of does that same thing. Right. All right. So this means going into round four. If Myth takes this down, then we're gonna go to a uh, a tiebreaker. If Super Tech God or Six One Seven takes this down, then uh, Super Tech God is gonna be the winner of tonight's episode. So it's gonna come down to the chat and their votes based on what you guys come up with and the fun thing about this round so round four is this is going to be a staple question on marvel scrap so this is them making the argument of what is the best marvel movie of all time right so this isn't just mcu this can be some of the older stuff if you're a fox person or you're a sony person you can pick anything in here they they have a list now there's a caveat which makes this so much fun, uh, especially like episode six or seven, because once one of these movies has been used, it can no longer be used. So eventually, somebody's gonna have to argue that Howard the Duck is the best Marvel movie of all time. And I, I'm here for it once we get there. So these guys got the full list. We're gonna see what they got. And since you're leading Super Tech God, I'm gonna start with you, man. What did right. you bring us for the greatest Marvel movie of all time? Well, of course, it's the Avengers Infinity War. That film kind of started the wrap up of the Infinity Saga. It was where Thanos got to snap his finger. We got to see Thanos search for all the stones or mostly all of them, and then wipe out our favorite Avengers and, and heroes with that snap and finally do what we saw in the, Mar in the Marvel comics years ago on the big screen it was phenomenal it was beautiful it was sad i mean my son kept, went with me and he was crying when spider-man died it was it was the best thing ever i've never seen anything else like that in any other hero movie infinity war has to be the number one marvel movie ever all right so now we're going to take it over to 617 what did you bring us as the greatest marvel movie of all time I should just bow out of this round. To be honest. <laughs> you got it. Um, you got it. I, I chose Avengers Endgame as the best. It's just a culmination of all the all the movies and over ten years of planning or something like that. It just I don't know. It finished the Infinity Saga, and 
I don't know much about it, anything else, but <laughs> that was my choice. I, I got it. Okay, look, I got to help you out on this. I got to help you out on this a little bit. I normally don't step in as the judge or whatever you want to call me, but I, I got it. So in game, it, it's Avengers Assemble. Captain America coming out of the portal, grabbing, or not coming out of the portal, but the portal's coming behind him, grabbing Milnir. I mean, come on. There's some iconic scenes. Oh, yeah, in, him in, wielding in, Milnir. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know Super Tech God. You got some iconic scenes too, but I gotta help. I gotta help six one seven out here. I'm not, I'm not mad at all. <laughs> there's some, <laughs> there's some world. amazing, so amazing better. scenes in that movie. <laughs> it's a good pick. It's a good pick. All right. So going over to Myth, what do you got for us, man? What is the greatest Marvel movie of all time? I feel like I chose this one partially just because of the the meaning it had towards me or to me. I, I really want to pick another movie, which I'm sure somebody in the future episodes, probably next episode, will choose because it's so good. But I went with the 2008 Iron Man 1, the first Iron Man, the first film of the Marvel franchise. And I, when it came out, you know, I'm 22 now. When it came out, I was not old enough. My parents didn't let me see it. But I think two years after, I remember sitting in my living room. I remember eating a slice of pizza and that cave scene where Iron Man was crafting the first Mark I suit. It was just so badass. It was so cool. And him coming out, it was, that started Marvel for me. And so, you know, who who would think that <laughs> all, all these years later, I'm still on Marvel playing Marvel Snap. It, it was just a great a great movie, a good pick. The start of Marvel, I think it, it, has, to, it has to be the best just because of that. All right. All right. So back over to you, Super Tech God. Again, all these movies and realistically most of the list i won't say the whole list but most of the list all great movies but why is infinity war still the best out of these three why is so, it better than endgame well let's let's see why right yeah, so yeah, infinity no, no, war no, no, no. started everything right so from the beginning battle with hulk <laughs> fighting thanos and getting his ass beat and yeah. going back to the earth <laughs> and then all the heroes coming together to try to stop thanos from getting the infinity stones was huge like you said we had iconic moments when captain america came back and grabbed that that um spear that was thrown at him right when they went to wakanda and tried to hold the fort down as they protect vision that was one of the best scenes ever when that thor was, was gonna go get his yeah. his um his axe created at never Delair. that was awesome and him coming back and wiping the floor with all of thanos goons and of course the name for the head but Thanos with that snap. I mean, that whole film led up from the beginning to the end was phenomenal. You did not want to go to the bathroom. You were sitting there. You were enjoying <laughs> every piece of it. When it, it comes to way. Endgame, Endgame, listen, it started off sad. It was very slow. I mean, it picked up at the end. The best part of Endgame was the end. That was it. The rest <laughs> of the movie was okay. It was all right. And Iron all Man, right. yes, Iron Man was great for its time. Very good. Right, I'm gonna time. I'm gonna cut you off. I'm gonna cut you off. You're, sorry. you're a little over sorry. sixty seconds. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you guys had some leftover time that bled over from the previous <laughs> rounds. Oh, he can have all my time. <laughs> <laughs> but we're sorry. gonna go back over to you, six one seven. So again, uh, you know, what, what do you got, man? In game, still, still just better. Your Guardians three was good. Yeah, so many, so many good actors, actresses. I mean, the whole thing was long. I don't know, man. <laughs> All right, we're going to see if we can get you that point. We'll see. But myth, <laughs> Iron Chat, Man 1. Chat, feel bad to me, man. <laughs> Iron Man 1, better? Better than the, the culmination of these two movies of the whole series? You know, I cannot argue that these movies are bad. I, I actually, out of the Marvel movies, these three would be the three that I would probably choose to watch while sitting on the couch. Uh, but as the, somebody in the chat said, MCU doesn't exist without Iron Man. It brought the comics to the movies. It revolutionized Marvel in terms of the cinematic franchise. And it was just, it, generally, it was just a great movie. And, you know, maybe maybe I'm biased because of because of the age that I watched Iron Man. But I generally appreciated that movie more than both of the Avengers movies. Not because it was a better movie, but because it meant more to me. Yeah. Awesome. All right, so let's send it over to chat. You guys are going to let us know based on the arguments and all of that, which of these three films 
which of them is the best which of them is the greatest marvel movie of all time you're gonna have two minutes the poll is going up now and i'm i'm interested to see what they say because again sense, chat. some people some people Common may have sense. some bias <laughs> <laughs> oh man so our sorry again i know i know 617 you you've watched a few of the movies you haven't watched them all you're not deep into it but uh, yeah I mean, i'm not a big movie person I'll, no no <laughs> I, I, I do feel like more than more than six or seven of them. Yeah. To be honest, I do feel like uh, them once I don't remember them. I don't know. <laughs> well, in in like the series, right? Like one of the big things about the MCU, which they're they're trying to get away from a little bit, is the fact that it is a full thing, right? Like there's pieces that happen. And if you didn't watch this movie, you don't fully catch some of the other stuff, especially when you're getting into the actual Avengers movie where they're kind of coming back together. But for kind of what held me back, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, when you when you like, think about it, you're like, like 40 hours of movies because I need to watch this, <laughs> <laughs> and then you just keep backtracking. Oh, I can't watch that because I got to watch this. <laughs> it's just never ending. So uh, I'm more of a touch touch grass type of person, you know? Yeah, I got you. I got you. So Super Tech God Myth, you guys, you you've seen them all up until even some of the newer stuff that just came out. Yep, even them um, Guardians that just came out. Nice, nice. Man, you guys I haven't seen the best movie. Guardians. Yes, best Guardians, hands down. He loved it and these votes are close guys these votes are it's close. close oh wow look at myth, that. myth is uh is just edge edging out right this second we're gonna see what happens we've got about i don't know 30 seconds left something like that let's go let's so, go so we're gonna see we're gonna see what happens because wow. it's one vote one vote votes, right guys now. come on infinity Infinite war <laughs> infinity war <laughs> man it is have it you is guys crazy, voted though. i haven't voted Oh, you gotta vote, vote for yourself, man. Cancel yourself yeah. short. I'm tempted. You gotta vote for yourself. You gotta do yeah, it. Six one, you wait six till one, the very we end. got five, It'll five, six right up. now. Down to I the last couple seconds. Woo! All right. Look at that. <laughs> nice. All right. So now we're gonna have to Formed go an alliance against Ken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so now we gotta do we gotta do a tiebreaker real quick with the with the poll because we need to see is it six one seven or is it myth? So we're gonna go back to uh just in game. And Iron Man, you guys vote between the two. Which one wins the tie? And then we will see because again, if uh, if Myth takes us down, we got to go to the oh, sudden man. death tiebreaker round. <laughs> Six one seven takes it. Oh. Getting his getting his only only vote. Oh, it, so technically move these over. Sorry, I, I guess I need to figure that part out. So what's above yeah. kin? What's above Kin is actually six one seven. What's above six one seven is actually Myth. So, right now, Myth is Myth is leading it. Let's go. So we'll see. But uh, so we got all the movies. So I I'm curious. We've got a, a few more series coming up. We've got uh, Secret Invasion coming up next month uh, over on Disney Plus. Do you guys watch the Disney Plus stuff as well? Yeah, hands down. Yeah. Not so much. Oh, Not only so a much? few. Only a few. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm subscribed to it. I probably should watch it more. <laughs> <laughs> they're they're pretty good. Like, uh, I mean, overall, I mean, I'm not saying they're as good as some of the movies, right? Um, but I do feel like they do add uh, a good bit. Minus Wandavision, uh, the whole ending kind of got canceled out in Doctor Strange, but <laughs> it was it was a fun one. Yeah, so, the new end to the Spider Verse is gonna be good. I'm yeah. stoked for that. Yeah. Me too. I can't yeah, wait. Yeah. That's in like just like two weeks, right? Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Got that movie that didn't one. pop into my head when I was choosing, but that is my favorite Marvel movie. The Spider Verse. Into the, the Spider Verse. Spider -verse yeah. is so good. That that yeah, soundtrack, yeah. the art, man, it's it's just Agreed. an A plus S tier movie. Yeah. Agreed. Hands down. Black Panther. I, I was I was thinking about that too. Black yeah. Black Panther yeah. was phenomenal. Yeah. 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 It's, it's hard, man. Winter I mean, Soldier. Winter Soldier was a good one too. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was definitely that was on my list. list. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's in my top three as well. Um, yeah, just in general. Top three that you've watched. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Chad uh... feels bad for me. I love you, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> I know, well, Endgame one, was a six good one movie. Seven, taking it down. <laughs> Endgame, Endgame getting Simon fourteen. No more so, donut near my name. So you're not you're not leaving without a point. Which means Super Tech God is the one that took this down this episode, and uh, once we get once we get down the road, we're gonna have Bravo. a championship. 
and uh, you, Super guys. Tech Guy, we're going to bring you back on for that. Uh, awesome. So, yeah. Yeah. Congrats, guys. Let me. Uh, Good job. Me it was super that. fun. Super fun. Good job, buddy. Yeah. You guys are great. This is fun. No, yeah. yeah. We got to do another whale show. I like this. Yeah. Yeah. These guys are fun. Here's the other so thing. Who's so, who's going to get 30,000 CL first? Oh. All right. <laughs> Challenge accepted. <laughs> I don't make cars. <laughs> Now that they've extended, oh, now that they've extended the CL track, right? Yeah, yeah right. Oh boy, <laughs> were, were either of you locked? Were any of you stuck at the no. twenty-three thousand? No, yeah. no. Oh yeah, you're not. I yeah, think Kraken might have gotten there. Yeah, but I say Kraken maybe. Yeah, shout out to Kraken though. Yeah. Yeah, I hope you feel better, bro. If you're watching. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Pulse, you coming for the crown? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. Uh, next week we're gonna have. Uh, Eddie A on we'll have uh GC as well as um it's guest gaming so this is gonna be our next three next week throwing awesome. down as well guys super excited I've always wanted to ask him is it GC or Jesse GC GC is it yeah okay yeah okay. yeah I think he, I think he kind of will go by both but I think it's technically GC is what okay. it is okay uh but yeah we've got we got a lot of people coming in uh each week if you guys didn't see uh for GC and Eddie the reason why we got them on next week is they just started their whole announcement of their series, uh, the World Snap Federation. Which yeah, we got that of looks fun. pretty fun. We got Super Tech God dropping his video today, stepping yes, into the yes. ring there. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Good so stuff. It's going to be a ton of fun. But again, I appreciate you guys coming on. I know this is a new thing, right? Got to gotta understand it and get in there. Uh, but definitely appreciate you guys uh, joining participating and everything us. yeah thanks oh, for having fun, us it's yeah. fun for sure we'll get we'll get Thank everybody you. on as we as we continue through if you guys want to come back on things like that we'll we'll make sure that happens uh and again i'm excited just to see all of the lineups for each of the mondays so again we're gonna be doing this every monday uh, about an hour each monday uh with three new people each week as well new topics uh except for that topic four i want to see once we get down the line the people that are having to argue some bad movies like or Dark World and you know Morbius number one. Yeah. Morbius cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing what the chat what the chat does. Again, appreciate you guys. But before we go, I want to kind of go around the room, let you guys give a shout out uh where they can find you, whether it's you know, you're just on Twitter, if you're doing Twitch, YouTube, whatever it may be. I'll we'll start with the winner here, Super Tech God. If they wanna hang out with you, where can they find you? Where are you where are you always hanging out at, man? I'm over at twitch.tv forward slash super tech god you can see me on twitter at super tech super tech god as well and on youtube at stg marvel snap nice all right 617 what you got man you can only find me at twitter <laughs> which is at 617 the name is right there on the screen uh, i post all the the shop updates every night if there's any new ones i try to get them upgraded to at least the animated border mm -hmm. so you all can see um that's it if there's something nice. new you'll you'll see it there right away nice we'll we'll get you in this this world whether it's twitch or youtube or something at some point we'll, we'll get you, we'll get <laughs> yeah. you there. for sure all Maybe right myth. eventually <laughs> and myth where can they find you man the man the myth I the am, legend <laughs> yeah. i am also only on twitter maybe when i finish college in a month i will maybe be somewhere else but right now okay. you can find me on twitter at myth snap and, uh, you know, I might not have all the variants, but I, I promise you, you will see some cool splits, some very cool splits on my Twitter. Nice. So. Nice. Awesome. Well, I appreciate all you guys. Like I said before, you guys have an awesome night. And again, you know, just thank you. Thank you for jump, jumping on here for an hour and, and hanging out with us in the chat. And again, thank you, chat, for hanging out, doing the votes, because that's what it comes down to is all you guys. So if you want to stick around, we're going to be grinding. We're so close to infinite, so we're just going to grind our way up there. Uh, thanks, again. chat. Thanks, thanks Dan. Yeah, thanks, chat. Smith. Thanks, guys. Yeah, it was great thanks to meet you all, chess. and I appreciate appreciate the invite. Thank yeah. you so much. Anytime, man. Yeah. All right. Talk to you guys later. See you all later. All right. Peace. All right. 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 Later.